what do we got for tonight? <clears throat> As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam Sayyidi you taught us that Imam Hussain is the left eye of Sayyidina Muhammad and it represents Hayat. Can you please kindly expand a little bit on that? <clears throat> That was the preface to that what we talked tonight is that when we read the word Rabb to know that, that these are authorities, they're authority not creator, Rabb doesn't mean creator means whom is the authority in English, Rabb al Bayt, the lord of your house, Rabb al Shah, the lord of the or the mayor of a city. So who is the authority that governs you? Be true and understand that the devil governs you and that you're following bad desires. Then you hope to take your hand to the ulul am and the shaykhs that they're governing you. You're asking for advice through your free will, it's not enslavement, it's asking for advice through rightly guided individuals towards a life of guidance until the hand is passed to the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad and this is now the king of all mulk and the king of all malakut. So if we understand rububiyyah then we begin to understand these immense realities. Iqra bi ismi rabbika ladhi khalaq, read in the name of your Lord who creates. Iqra bi ismi rabbik, read, right? So means you're going to make a du'a, you're going to direct your heart in the name of your Lord. So you came down, now you're humble. So, okay, am I going to ask in Allah's name? Alhamdulillah, I can ask in Prophet name, but there must be a haqqaiq and a reality. So, Allah gave a name in which creation comes into existence. Iqrab ismi rabbika ladhi khalaq. Khalaq and insan, he creates insan min alaq. Min. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Muhammadan Nur, Mim Noon, every creation is coming from Min. Muhammadan Nur, Alaq. Ain, Lam, Qaf. Can you see? Ain. Na Qaf Because people say, oh Allah creates. Yes but in the way of marifa, Allah wants us to know the secret of creation. He's giving in the first command because these six verses that came to Prophet is the opening of the heart. If they don't understand the verses then the heart's not opening. Iqra is a direction, direct your nazar because it's your firasa, not samina or listen to me that you have to now be attentive for a voice coming to you. Iqra means direct your nazar, the ismi rabbik, do you know who your lords are? 
That's why we're always asking that, make your madad. When you ask a question, we're a doctor, we can tell you're jumping. Tell me how to open the reality of Allah ilaha Allah ilaha Allah ilaha Allah. You jumped over your shaykh because that question tells us you're not making madad. Because if you're not making madad and you said, I don't need this, I'll just go straight to how to open La ilaha illallah illallah illallah. What do you think is going to open for you? So every question people ask gives us a greater understanding and a diagnosis. It's because you, you didn't make your madad yet. When you mastered your madad, your connection with your madad, they'll explain that for you. And that in the connection of your madad, your shaykh is present with you and you make La illallah, La illallah. You, you know it's not so important all the specific shlipan like this, shlipan like this, like this. It's you're in the madad is going to be directing you. When you enter into a state of madad, they overtake your faculty. They will move you in the way they want. They'll begin to control your breath and make you to hold your breath. Because it's madad, it's not the mind, it's the heart. So how are we going to reach that? Once you learn that you did your madad and the light of this guidance overtakes you, it comes into your heart and to your being, you understand whom governs you. At that time when you iqra, when you make your nazar, you make your madad upon your shaykhs and you mention specifically their names, you make the madad and opening of knowledges. Khalaq al-insan min alaq. Once in their madad and their connection Allah is giving to them, we created this humanity in alaq. So they said alaq is clinging leech but Allah doesn't care for dunya, that's for the doctors of dunya. But the doctors of akhirah, alaq is ayn, lam, qaf. Allah's ayn is ancient knowledges, al alim. So that's when we say, oh, it's from a knowledge that Prophet got and he gave as an inheritance to Sayyidatana Fatima Tazali Salaam. But here is the understanding, alaq, Allah's ancient knowledges, al alim. It has to come to a tongue and a lisan and Allah is directing it to the qaf and the qaf is Qur'an and Majeed. So through an ancient knowledge command of creation is coming through an ancient tongue with power of Holy Qur'an bringing that creation into existence. As soon as Allah wants creation to come into existence, it has to come from this ancient tongue in which was dressed with sifat al adim and gives a command, otherwise how you were born? Allah is doing all the work. He said, why I created Khalifa if I wanted to do all the work, I want to give the owner of realities to this Khalifa in which I would be known. I give the owner of this secret to Muhammadun Rasulullah Wasallam. Allah is the creator, iqra but Allah al-insana min alaq. Every creation is coming by this ancient knowledge. And Prophet gave the security of that knowledge to the presence of the soul of Sayyidatina Fatima Tizari salam. Why? Because she's the pure soul, al batul the pure light of Holy Qur'an in which she carries the pure light of Holy Qur'an, no uncleanliness, immense purity. So when creation want to come into existence, Allahu a khaliq ba haqqa Fatima Tizari Salaam. And by a secret that Allah gave, 
to the presence of Sayyidatina Fatima So people who want to get pregnant ask Ya Rabbi bi haqqa seerat al-Fatima by the secret that you gave Sayyidatina Fatima and then you connect your heart with the madad of your shaykhs, the madad of Prophet and build a very strong relationship with Sayyidatina Fatima And by the reality Allah gave to you of seerat al-khalq and the secret of creation bestow upon me a creation within my womb and that your nazar be upon that creation. And this from Qur'an but not the Qur'an they read, this is the Qur'an that we read. Because people read and say, I don't see that. Well because we said at the beginning, you're at the Mecca of beginning, you didn't enter into Medina. Once you enter into Medina, the Mecca, first stage of Mecca you read is Furqan, right and wrong because you're in the state of struggling. Qur'an is only if you enter into Medina in the presence of Prophet make you to be madani. As a result you read now the Qur'an. If Prophet take you back into Mecca, what are you reading now? Ashaykh, Umul Kitab right because now went up. Why Ummul Kitab? Because you're back in Mecca. Um and Ummi. So means these are the, the realities of Holy Qur'an, the reality of presence. If you're in your own presence trying to accept Allah that's a fight. Then you have to enter into the presence of Prophet to now receive the light of Holy Qur'an and its isharats. Only with the presence of Prophet he take you towards Ummul Qur'an which is the mother of all books. And Allah begin to give you all of the secrets and realities of it. خلق الإنسان من ألق that every creation is coming by an alaq and ancient knowledges. So the knowledge has power because the qaf is also qudra. If Allah give you and start to dress you with an ayn and start to give you a tongue in which to speak, what happens? You're a servant of ayn, you're a servant of the lisan, and in your heart is a very powerful off. And they begin to merely ask and Allah make it to begin to manifest. We pray that Allah grant us greater and greater understanding. Everything is the foundation of madad in this way. We need the madad, we have to understand the ulul am and keeping their company and leave the initial Mecca state and truly enter into the Madani state, inshaAllah. Hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basira Surat al-Fatiha. Shafati wa Siri Kareem, Ameen. Do you have any more questions? As Salaamu Alaikum, dear Sayyidi Shaykh Nurjan. Wa Alaikum As Salaam wa Is there anything specific we can do to remove our vices from us? <coughs> yeah, the khidmat, the service. So, the, the fastest way is you want to be under their nazar. So, I'll give you another because they always teach by analogy. I'm surrounded by all sorts of difficulties, cockroaches all, uh, all over me. And everywhere I'm going all these cockroaches are just clinging to me, clinging to me, these are bad characteristics. Well how am I going to get somebody's attention to begin to start spraying to kill off these cockroaches and all these bad characteristics? Because every time you go like this thousand more are coming upon you. So if you think you're just going to keep going like this and take him off, you, you are underestimated your fight. 
seven hundred thousand to one. <clears throat> but you need somebody to be looking at you. I said, what the heck is going on with this person? <clears throat> and this is like the sci-fi movies, their nazar has an immense power that if the nazar comes, it comes with an immense light that burns away the shayateen like vampire movies. The shaitans they don't go in the day, why? Because the sun represents Prophet And why Allah wanted these vampire movies? Because shaitan plans, Allah plans better. He said, oh I'm gonna make a movie and Allah said, I'm gonna fool you in every movie you make that I'm going to teach actually about your reality. So they have to know everything is the opposite. Then angels don't like garlic, shaitans love garlic. So they tell you in the movie, don't put garlic, don't put garlic, garlic. No, the angels don't like garlic. So when you put the garlic all over your home, the devils come. So it means that everything Allah will teach us from these realities, inshaAllah. <coughs> As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Since Dajjal is all about deceit, can't he use the name of Prophet to deviate people? Please forgive our ignorance and bad adab. Yes, of course he's going to use the name of Prophet <clears throat> Allah said, well, I don't have to go that far. We do this in Rajab which is the month of Allah Surah Munafiq. So go back to our talks on Raja, the why Allah on His holiest month of Raja, Subhana man huwa khalaqa nur in which there's the secret of light and seclusions and his surah is munafiq. And Allah is describing throughout Surah Munafiq that they use their shahada as a means to pretend like they entered Islam to what? Deviate people from Islam. So now go to the holy lands and this is the best example for you, all of it is dajjal. And they guarding the Rawza Sharif thinking they have power, they guard it. Don't you dare come by, don't you put your hands up, don't you make du'a to this king. We have uh, captured the king, astaghfirullah. He's playing with them, Prophet because this is the time that had to go into an ignorance. But they have not captured anyone, their time is limited and they even put their ta'weez of oh, one seeing eye on everything. So there's nothing hidden, Allah reveals everything, go they have the one eye on everything. And their whole system of dajjal is all there hoping that their Messiah can enter into the holy precincts but won't be allowed. And he'll be moving all around that region because they feel they have now a, a right to pilgrimage into this region. But dajjal for us is deceit. If you don't see deceit in Islam right now, well we're not looking hard enough because it's everywhere, Islam is completely in deceit. It is in their second state of ignorance, that's the whole channel is based on that. <clears throat> that it's not Muhammadiyun, it's not the love of Prophet They use lies and deception and bad teaching, bad character. So yes, definitely we don't have antichrist because we have nothing, we're not waiting for Christ. Sayyidina Isa came and went long and will come again a second time. But dajjal means for us deception. <clears throat> so everyone sees deception now in every aspect of life, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Is playing nasheeds, durood sharif and not at home equivalent to celebrating mawlid? What is the best way? Yes, 
that making your dhru, participating with us three days a week, we're trying to show the importance of Milad and Nabi Even watching the broadcast after doesn't matter because it's a celebration. And play the celebration within the home, play the zikrs within the homes. When coming near to the Durul Sharif, give out food for the sake of Milad and Nabi and make your intention, Ya Rabbi I'm getting this food and giving for the sake of the birth of Sayyidina Muhammad Give water, give food, give support, we're having big projects in India, Pakistan, Canada, it's everything. It's not one thing, it's everything. When you love, your heart will tell you to do in a big way everything, it doesn't need any instruction. Go out and get two hamburgers every day and give out for the love of Prophet give money to the homeless for the love of Prophet So yeah, it's, it's, if, if someone said, for the sake of your child's life go do good deeds, did you need to ask me how, what good deeds you got to do? No, for the sake of the life of your child I'm sure you would think of 20,000 good deeds to do. There's no different. For the sake of your own soul, see how are you going to get the attention of Prophet One, by supporting his, his ulul amr because they're bringing this message to you. If they can't bring the message to you tomorrow then you're, you're in a big loss. Support those who are already doing what they can and then do your own, inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum shaykh Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah <coughs> Is there a connection between Sayyidina Maryam alayhi salam and Fatima Zahra alayhi salam? Connection? Yeah, family. <laughs> so Sayyidatina Maryam alayhi salam is very close with Sayyidatina Fatima alayhi salam alayhi salam. Even in the culture of the Catholic and Christians they have the Fatima wells, they have many sites under the name of Sayyidatina Fatima They don't understand why is it related. They say, oh no these people was the, the city of Fatima, this was this, this. But either way Allah is showing, no they're all very related. But the reality of Sayyidatina Maryam salam, then alhamdulillah comes under the 19th surah. So anyone who studies with us knows that 19 are the letters of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. And what we're describing now, bi ismi Allah Rahman Rahim. And above them all is the umbrella of praise, Muhammad. Allah is showing that Maryam is under this umbrella and reality and that has a very high station that Allah is naming a holy surah from her name. So the love of Sayyidatina Maryam is very important and very healing, very powerful. And the love of Sayyidina Isa salam in the correct way, in the Islamic way is very powerful and that his station is in Medina to Munawwara. And that when you make a visit to Rosa Sharif you have to give your salams to Sayyidina Isa salam. His station is eternally in the Rosa Sharif of Prophet so they play a role in our spiritual development. The false is to call them deities and gods and father, mother and son, this is… It shakes the throne. When people say, it's, oh this is okay, they're, they're similar, that's absolutely not similar. Allah describes when you start to call Him God, the throne of Allah is shaking, means I could imagine that He's very upset. Allah doesn't like anyone to be called the God. InshaAllah. But if you teach enough people that a man is God, a man is God, a man is God, then what, what is happening? The Messiah is coming to call himself a God and they say, oh so you're the one that we were saying all this for, say, yeah I'm here, now follow me. But when you teach people, absolutely not, there is no man who is God, Allah is alone. There's no likeness unto Allah and the Prophet is a servant of Allah but with immense lights and blessings and secrets and knowledges. But we never traversed 
that line, Allah is the Creator, Allah has no partner, no image, no, no form, no direction. And that Muhammadun Rasulullah is the most beloved of creation and the secret of creation, the secret of light, inshaAllah. Tamam inshaAllah bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.